Hi there, now devotion today, I want to take you to the book of Numbers chapter 23. I want to read from verse 19 onwards. It says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot change it. Here is a beautiful passage that we can draw a lot of things about God from this passage. If you want to look at the background of it, it is about a man called Balak. He was the prophet and Balak was a king and he wanted to bring Balaam and make him curse the people of Israel. And then he tried to do it, but God did not allow him to. And so this is his second oracle. And in this, Balaam is blessing the people of Israel. And this is what he said. He said about God. He said, God is not a man that he should lie. That means God is truth. He tells the truth. The one thing that God cannot do is that God cannot lie. All through the Bible, we see that God tells the truth and he cannot lie. And so he says, God is not a man that he should lie. In other words, human beings are capable of lying. It doesn't matter who it is. People are given in a situation. People can lie easily. So right here, the difference between human being and God is that God cannot lie. And he also says, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. So God don't change his mind. When he fixes his mind on something and he will go through it and do it. And so here is an information about who God is. God cannot lie. God don't change mind. He is unchanging God. Now let's read something else. It says here, does he speak and then not act? So he is a promise-keeping God. God cannot promise something or speak something and not do it. He is able to do it. Look at Genesis chapter 1. If you read about the creation, when God created, let there be light, he said, and there was light. So his words has power. And so he cannot just uh, speak something and not act on it. Does he promise and not fulfill you see, there are people who promise, but they are human beings. They can fail. But there is a God that Balaam is talking about, that God, he cannot lie. He cannot uh, change his mind. He cannot speak and not act. He is not a God who can promise something and not do it, not fulfill it. So he is a faithful God. And altogether, if you look at it, you can put your trust in God because if God says it, he will do it no matter what, because he is God. And though he has all this information about God, Balaam says that I cannot do anything beyond what he allows me to do. So he says in verse 20, I have received a command to bless he has blessed and I cannot change it. If God wants to bless somebody and no one in this world can change it. Because one of the character of God is that I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have grace upon whom I will have grace. So it is God's doing. If God wants to bless you and there is there's no one in this whole universe who can stop it. It says... He is blessed and I cannot change it. So if you want to receive the blessing from God, all you have to do is just to rely on him and trust in him. Because God, if he decides to bless you, there is no one in this whole universe to stop it. Why? Because that is the character of God. The character of God is that God cannot lie. God cannot change his mind as he pleases. God it does not speak and then don't act. You know, God promises something and he will just make sure that he fulfills it. He made a promise to Abraham and he fulfilled it. He made the promise to Isaac. He fulfilled it. He made the promise to Jacob generation after generation. The promises of God is available for us. 
all through the Bible, there are so many promises that is available for us. If you make it your own, you will be blessed. Because if God decides to bless you, no one can stop it. May God help you to have that vision and understanding of how you can receive the blessing from God. When I say blessing, I'm not just talking about money or material things. I'm talking about all kinds of spiritual blessings that supersedes all the natural blessings that people are after today. May God bless you in every way so that you can be blessed and be a blessing to others today.